Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be my Bible journaling nugget in my Encourage Bible. Encourage sends like a newsletter out and they're doing, I think, 40 days of Psalms. And I love the book of Psalms. And it's a quick and easy kind of read like for the summer. So they give you a schedule of just reading a Psalm and some of their Psalms are connected to their Bible, their devotion in their Bible. So as I'm reading a Psalm, when I come across the devotional that's attached to the Psalm, I'll read it. And if I feel that it's really ministering and I want to share it, then that's when I make a video. This one is when you don't feel like forgiving and the psalm is psalm 23 which is a very familiar psalm and verses 1 2 and 3 is the scripture reference for this particular devotion i won't read the complete devotion but it was about a lady who was harboring some unforgiveness in her heart unknowingly and her mother had given her a book and she did she was reluctant to read the book so she just just appeased her mother and took the book. But one day she found herself opening up to a page and what stuck out to her was that it was a prayer that it was asking her to say if she was harboring unforgiveness. And it says, today, forgive. I mean, to forgive can be a simple prayer like, Lord, I release. And then there was a line, an underscore line from my judgment. And you are to fill in the blank of who you are releasing, releasing from your judgment. And that really stuck out with me. And then she also talked about the fact that when she was doing this, she felt no emotional connection to it. There was like a non-emotional response to it, which happens when you are struggling with forgiving someone. It's You can't really have yet connected your heart to your emotion. You know, it's the right thing to do and you want to do it. But then the emotion is still there. But over time, it does heal and it does get better. And what she said was a statement that two statements that she said in this devotion that really stuck out for me was, quote unquote, I was no longer in charge of this person's accountability. I was like, wow, yes, Lord. That's it. I've been holding them accountable and I'm not in charge of that. You are. And then the other thing was, she said, I am ridiculously capable of building my own prison. And that's what I had done unknowingly harboring some feelings that I didn't know was contributing to unforgiveness. So personally, I've been saying this prayer every day and it's been blessing me and it's really beginning to make a change. And in my heart of hearts, I'm not feeling that pinch anymore that I once felt. And I'm so grateful for it. And I hope that if you are harboring any unforgiveness in your heart, that you will ask the Lord to cleanse you and leave that judgment and vengeance and accountability to him and walk in the forgiveness because he's been so good and so gracious to us. And surely we can forgive someone else. And that was the nugget that I walked away with. And it really help me once again. And disclaimer, if I am born again, if you are born again, we are capable of forgiving what we like to call the unforgivable because we have a changed heart and a new spirit and we are new creatures in Christ. Therefore, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And when we look at God's treatment of us, we begin to see how easy it is to forgive someone else if we choose to.